All right, welcome back. So I am on at least layer two on all of my abstracts here. Oh, what's next? She didn't come out with email. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. We're all done. Okay, I thought I cleaned up this airbrush. Apparently I hadn't. So what's coming out is pink. And what I really want is warm white. There we go. That's a nice, delicate feel. I think I want to stick with it, stick with the delicate feel. So I'm doing just some soft bursts of light. That's a good word. Bursts of light. I think so. Can you pay me at the next break? Oh, yeah. I thought I already paid you. I forgot. Does Seth have a mic? I don't know. I'm going to ask him. He's got it. I think he handed me something, but there's no cash there. So he has the cash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to get my men paid here today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, that too much more of that. Whoa! And that'll be too much. I think I'm gonna set this one aside. It's not done, but it's done for now, close enough for now. And I'll move on to another one. Come back, look at this with fresh eyes in a little while. So far, I kinda like that. Okay, you understand these are all for sale this weekend. Probably go on sale either Sunday or Monday. I was hoping tomorrow, but at the rate I'm going, it'll be more like Sunday or Monday. And um, if you buy one, you actually get two paintings, because you get the painting on the back also, whether you want it or not. And you might like the one on the back better. Uh, we'll post both of them. But to bid on it, you have to go to my Facebook page. You understand, you, you two people, you know how to get to Facebook, right? Facebook forward slash Dan the Art Man to place a bid on any of these paintings. Uh, so opening bid is $100, which is ridiculous. I hope you realize that. <laughs> I hope you appreciate that. Oh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Anyway, let me put that one down and grab another one. Um, here's, a, here's one that I started, one of the first ones I started early today. And at the moment, I would call it a bit of a problem child. So let's see if we can, see if we can rescue this puppy. Uh, I'm going to go, if you will, I'm going to take the safe route and I'm going to go with consonant color as opposed to dissonant color. That is to say I'm going to go with colors right either what's already here or adjacent on the color wheel. Did you get it? Did you have 80? Uh, there's actually 85 here. 85. Sure. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for your help. That's pretty intense. That's a beautiful phthalo blue, though. I love phthalo blue. People always ask me what my favorite color is. And I never have, I always say the right one, the good smart aleck answer. Maybe I should start saying they know blue. <laughs> I'm not sure it's my favorite color, but doggone, it's sure pretty right there. Maybe it's more to the point is which, what's my favorite color, and the, the answer is the one I'm using. <laughs> that's, that's probably pretty true. Okay, well, that looks nice. <laughs> There's not much, not much. Not much going on with it, <laughs> but it looks, it looks nice. It, it doesn't feel like such a problem child anymore. And I'm going to take a rag right now and do some lifting out. I certainly do see some light effects happening. Right there, and... 
boom, and right there, hit the nail, with the, hit the nail on the head. Not what I wanted to do. What about this? Yeah, I need to lighten up something over, over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now, let me add a little energy back in. Yeah. Now, in my estimation, the, the black here is entirely too hard edged. So let's see if I can come in with some black black paint, regular old black paint, and just, just soften that edge a little bit. changing my mind here. Instead of fate going light back here on this edge now, I'm going straight to dark. And I got there because the edge of this black was too dark. Now, I'm, I'm too, way too close to symmetrical here. So, um, something needs to be done about that. Okay, got an idea. 